Hey guys, this is Badger Palmer. Uh, today we're going to take a look at all the pearlescent items and weapons that you can acquire in Borderlands. As uh, I've managed to acquire all of them, so we're going to take a look. Right, firstly we will start with the Savage Ares. The Atlas Revolver. Decent stats. Uh, the red ability, Your Life is Mine, is uh, if you shoot someone with the gun it will let off some transfusion waves. So basically when you use transfusion grenades, kind of like that. So they'll heal you or your teammates if you're uh, close enough to them. Alright, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So, obviously I can't show you because there's no enemies around. Okay, pretty decent. Next is the uh, Steel Undertaker. The, well, very, very powerful rocket launcher. A very high ammo clip. And the ability to take me under. Take me under is basically the rockets have an extremely large splash damage. So if I just fire it there, you can notice that it's a hell of a lot more, hell of a lot larger than they usually are. All right, and obviously the um, Undertaker also has an extremely large ammo clip of eight, so you can do some extra damage. Okay. Next we will do the Tsunami, very decent stats on the uh, Tsunami, very good um, zoom as well. Uh, the ability Feel the Wave is uh, quite an interesting ability, we'll show you. Basically, you fire it and it does Magjack bullets, if you've, if you've had the Magjack weapon you'll know what I'm on about, but otherwise it's um, wiggly bullets that do ricochet. Um, the good thing about the um, the um, tsunami is that it says it's lightning, but it only procs lightning some of the time. It also actually, if it will do it, it will also uh, proc corrosive. So if you don't proc either of those two, it will just do a standard shot. So you get lightning. Alright, next is the Serpens, which is the SNS assault rifle. Pretty decent stats. It's always got times for corrosive. Okay, and I'll we'll show you that one. It's like the Tsunami bullet-wise, where it does like, uh, Magjack, spiral bullets, but these don't ricochet. The uh, Serpens also has a very large tech pool, meaning that, like, you'd be able to hit anything in close proximity with the, uh, corrosion. It's a good weapon for taking out Lancers. Next is the, uh, the Jackal, which is the shotgun. High damage, decent accuracy for a shotgun, but it, the thing about this shotgun is that it's kind of like a carnage, as in, instead of fire, well, it's kind of fires rockets, but instead these are actually grenades. The uh, grenades have decent splash damage, so you're looking at sort of like mid range, really. Unless you're very good at arcing grenades, then obviously you can probably use it long range. Alright. Uh, last, oh no, not yet. <laughs> Next is the uh, Bessie, which is the sniper rifle. It's probably the most powerful sniper rifle that I've seen. High accuracy. Uh, the ability, that's my girl, is the plus 500% critical hit damage. So if you headshot anybody with that thing, you are probably going to kill them in one hit. Alright, the, also the uh, other ability of the uh, Bessie is that when you're zoomed in, it does do 100% accuracy. So if I uh, fire it, you'll notice that it always shoots in the same place but obviously it overlaps like any other one that's there because yeah <laughs> right next is the Hyperion Nemesis now it's always a lightning weapon sort of decent stats but the um, the cool thing about the Nemesis is that it's more sort of a mid-range weapon because if you fire it, it um, it'll actually spread its bullets into three so you fire one shot and you actually do get three so the longer range, the um, further the bullets will arc out. So if you notice, if it will do it, again, there we go. The middle bullet is a lightning bullet, and the two outer bullets are actually corrosive. So not only is this a, um, not only is this a lightning weapon, it is also a corrosive weapon, kind of just like the tsunami. All right, so it's also got a scope as well, so you can do some uh, decent damage with it. Okay, next is the uh, TDR. Avenger, the uh, very, very powerful um, assault rifle, decent accuracy and fire, and fire rate. 
The uh, special ability Uncommon Power is um, it deals with the plus 50% critical hit damage that you see. And also the other ability you can't see is it also gives you uh, ammo regeneration. The um, the other thing about the Avenger is that instead of being an automatic one, it's actually a single shot where so you have to fire, press the trigger every time you want to fire. So obviously with a 15 um, percent fire rate, if you've got if you're quick enough on the um, on the trigger, you can somewhat fire it quite quickly, and it's got a decent reload. Alright, last of the weapons is the Stalker. Stalker is the uh, Vladov pistol. Uh, it kind of has the same thing as the Tsunami and the... Um, well, yeah, it's just the Tsunami. Where it's got um, sort of somewhat magic bullets. So they ricochet, but they're not sort of like as spirally as the Tsunami. But as you can notice that the... Um, as you notice, the um, bullets are also very, very quick. So if anybody's hiding around a corner quickly, you can just blast some bullets around and you're more than likely to hit something. Alright, and it's got a decent scope as well, so... There we go. Right, that's all the weapons. I mean, obviously, if you want to see any more of the weapons in action, just give me a... Uh, just send, just leave a message and I'll uh, see what I can do. And uh, lastly, we have the shields. First up, we have the... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Omega. Basically, reasonable capacity, very hard, very high recharge rate, and then it's also got um, very, very high um, shock resistance. So uh, good against those old uh, shock troopers in the uh, new DLC. All right, next is the impenetrable ironclad. The ironclad is the um, is the highest capacity shield that anyone's found at the moment. So you put that on a um, on any character that's got a shield boost ability, then you're going to be uh, not die well. You're not going to die anytime soon. So the red ability is just the overcharge capacity. And then last up is the the Arcturus Rose, wherever you want to pronounce that again. Um, reasonable capacity, very high recharge rate, and then this is the only shield that has like its own sort of like ability because the other ones are sort of like stated in the uh, the name. Uh, beauty in life means that when you have a fully recharged shield and it gets and it gets taken down to zero, if you have less, if you have um, if you have your health taken out as well, and your shield gets uh, taken out, you actually gain a sixth of your health back. So it's like a health boot, it's like a health regenerative shield when you've uh, taken enough damage. Obviously, it won't work work every time it gets taken down. You have to recharge your shield, and then it can. Um, and then once it's taken back down, you get another sick. All right, guys, there you go. That's all the uh, palestine items. Hopefully, um, that sort of enlightened you as to what they do. If you've got any questions or need anything uh, shown again, just leave me a message, and I'll uh, do what I can. All right, thanks, guys.